Winter session went well. I'm really impressed with how um, all the guys performed, how serious they took it. Today's game, you know, PG County versus Mo County. Man, it was a good one, man, from the jump. Hey, man, I mean, you always have these little regions, little counties. It, it's, it's good that Ricky put this together, that we can compete against each other. And uh, just for bragging rights, man, we all play with each other throughout the summer. I thought it was pretty good. I thought um, I enjoyed coming back playing. You know, just to have this uh, type of, you know, star power. I mean, these are guys, all, a lot of guys on the court played D1, played pro ball overseas, or some have played in the NBA even. So to have this type of level of players, even in our 30s, you know, it was just a great time. The expectations, I think, met what people wanted for an all-star game. And it was just a great competition, man. Man, it was a good one, man, from the jump. Mo County got on top of us early. Got the lead, you know, we fought back throughout the game. And you know, just to be a part of, you know, something like this, man, that Ricky and his father putting together, you know, it's been an amazing, you know, thing. And uh, we starting to look forward to it, you know, just bring back the camaraderie of the fellas. Good to get the invite. Um, it's something I definitely want to participate in, especially if I'm in town. Thinking, man, like just coming up out the area. So I mean, it's just full, full of talent here, man. It's so many. It's everybody can ball. So you know, just getting back and just seeing the competition, man. I mean, this is a it, it, DC and Maryland, Virginia always produce a healthy amount of athletes. Man. We just got so stick together, man. So. We, we just got stick together, man. And the older guys got to man bring the young fellas back together, so we can man change the dynamic of it as well. So stick together, fellas. And let's, man, run it up, man, like every other city, man. So we still have, myself, and I know a lot of these guys that was, that was competing today, still have a love for the game. And any time that we can get out here and still play and compete with each other, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, the body should never stop moving. You know, if you have the ability to go out there and play, then why not do it? I loved, I enjoyed being a part of it. I'm blessed to have been a part of it and played so well. But um, just the whole, you know, thing Ricky has put on this year, I mean, and through the summer in the last couple years, he's done an amazing job to kind of turn back the hands of time and get guys motivated, stay in shape, and just play ball, man, and, and do this and, and have it be competitive. PG, they've had hoopers, you know, I mean, they got one of the best players in the world, Kevin Durant, you know, come out PG. And PG and MoCo always got this thing where, you know, PG, they got the hoopers, MoCo, we tend to have, you know, more team-oriented guys, but PG got individual players that can hoop. But I think the whole area is loaded with talent, regardless of what county you in. But we just wanted to go out and show people that, you know, we got... Hoopers that can go to any league, any area from Montgomery County and, and perform, man. Good to come back and just play against legends, you know. Uh, like the, the they came a couple years with the Herbo, and that was fun and everything, but it's great, you know. Mike McLeese, uh, former basketball coach at Dunbar High School, and uh, you know, really appreciate what Rick has done in terms of the Legend Coalition, keeping the tradition of, of DC uh, DMV basketball alive, and, and and to recognize the '89 team uh, is significant. And uh, Rick, you know, called us up, said he wanted to honor us. It, 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 you know, it's one of those games that lives on in in, in infamy, if you will. But uh, you know, we made that shot. Uh, from 35 feet, Donald Ford made, and it was in front of 14,000 people in Coldfield House, and it was 30 years ago, and uh, it was just a just a treat to uh, 
you know, see the guys again. You know, some of us have gone different ways and whatnot, but uh, they all doing well, still looking good, you know, and it's, it's just a, a pleasure to be involved in this type of thing. And again, I take my hat off to Rick and, and Ricky Goins and for everything that he's doing in terms of the uh, keeping the basketball tradition alive in the DMV. That it's awesome that this legend coalitions exist. It's a great opportunity for um, sports enthusiasts and past players to reunite and reconnect, reinvent themselves. Um, I'm looking at the camaraderie out there. Um, it's a fraternity. Anyone who's ever participated in a sports, um, an organized sports league, there are intangibles that you learn. Um, you learn confidence. You learn how to deal with disappointment. You learn how to be a team player. You learn to grow together. You learn to have disappointments together. And you learn that it's going to be okay. And so just watching all of that um, unfold, I think it's absolutely amazing. As we just showed in the um, All-Star game, um, Montgomery County definitely has hoopers um, beating them. Are we going to continue it now um, against Gwen Park and show them what MoCo has? We here today is representing PG County for the champions, and we like this means a lot to us, bro. And we we got to bring it back. We got to bring it back. This first city title, Legends Coalition. And we got to make our stand. Basketball is, all, is about the game of runs. Like um, we came out firing, and then they came out, we took a couple in the chin. But the main thing is we just kept going. We didn't really get discouraged with the run that they made. Like Einstein's a good team. They moved the ball well. Uh, Dennis is a hell of a player. I don't know what he scored, but the main thing is if we let him score, he can't beat us. That was our, our goal. Let him score. We, we made it tough for him, but we just kept. Like I don't, I don't do too much talking. We just let our game speak for itself. All right, the winter session went well. I'm really impressed with how um, all the guys performed, how serious they took it. Um, 
You know, the championship games weren't as close as the summer league games were, but the rivalry was intense between PG, MoCo, Einstein, and Gwen Park. They both had great regular seasons. Um, we're still owing every undefeated team to come into the winter session. I mean, into the LCO championship game hasn't won yet. So, um, but I'm impressed with, especially some of the new guys, Marcus Ashton, and Denny Bassett from Einstein. Um, they played well, and I'm excited about the anticipation um, for the winter going into the summer. And the goal now is, is efficiency and expansion. You know, I want to see the league be able to you know, operate in, in multiple cities and multiple places around the country uh, with the same level of intensity and passion it does in the Washington, D.C. area. So it's time to take the Legend Coalition on the road. Uh, we'll see what that looks like. So I'm excited to see, you know, next year, can we go from two leagues to four leagues, four leagues to eight leagues. Let's see if we can replicate this um, and, you know, make it something that, the, you know, the country and, and the city can be proud of.